Hey everybody, my name is Michael Gerald, and welcome to the Top Water King YouTube channel. And today we are talking about big baits versus little baits in the pre-spawn time of the year. So pre-spawn time of the year for a lot of people can either be a golden time where they catch their biggest bass ever, or it can be a very difficult time where they don't catch any bass at all. And today in this video, we're going to be talking about the reasons why that is and how you can fix that whole problem because I know I've had those problems and doing what I'm going to be talking about here today uh, has helped those problems go away and uh, help me catch a lot of fish. So first thing we're going to be talking about we have uh, we have four different soft plastic baits and we have four different hard baits uh, just to kind of keep it even. Uh, so first thing we're going to talk about is crankbaits. So I got square bill crankbaits up here just because uh, square bill crankbaits are stuff that I throw during the pre-spawn. Uh, I know a lot of other people do as well. And of course the most famous square bills ever made I believe are the Strike King uh, .0 lineup. Uh, so this one here is Strike King 1.0 little guy. And then this right here is the Strike King 4.0. So you're probably wondering, why do I have these right here? Because I do believe in my whole heart that there is a place for both these baits during the pre-spawn time. Uh, in my opinion, I think that when I'm going out to a place, whether it's a pond, a lake, river, whatever it is, if it holds bass, if I'm going there, wherever it is and whatever covers there will dictate also what uh, food sources there are will dictate whether I go first off with a big bait or with a small bait. Now if I'm going to a new place I've never been before, I'm going to start off with one of these tied on. Little Strike King 1.0. Uh, this one here is natural uh, brim color. I've also got one in sexy shad and one in natural shad. So I have three colors that kind of cover all of it. You know I've got the natural bluegill, I've got the natural shad, and I also have a little bit more of a stained water shad, as I like to call it, because you can see it further with that uh, stained water. And this one right here is probably my personal favorite, mainly just because I've caught more fish on it than the other two. Uh, the other two I don't even think I've even used, to be honest with you. I've more just, if I'm going to throw a small crankbait, it's probably going to be this guy right here, just because of how natural looking it is. Um, I really like this bait. If you can look on the belly, it's got like a little bit of a silvery orange color on the belly. I really like that. Uh, it looks a lot like the bluegill that are around here. And I figured, you know what, this is a great bait. So if I'm going to go to a new place that I've never been before, this is the bait I'm going to start with. Uh, the reason why is it's a small profile. It has a lot of action for such a small bait, and it can catch a lot of fish. Now, when you're going small, you're also taking more of a risk of not catching a giant fish. If you're going out there trying to catch a giant fish, throw something like this. Or bigger. They make bigger. But this right here is the one I grabbed out of my tackle box. This is Strike King 4.0 in Chartreuse Black Back. Uh, it's a great bait. I've not really, I've never caught anything on it, but I have thrown it around a little bit and it seems like a great bait. I really like the action on it. Uh, it basically just has an action just like the 1.0, the 1.5, and 2.0. It's just a bigger bait and it has more of a thud in the water. It's a great bait. I'm definitely looking forward to throwing this thing. But if you're going out there looking for a big old bass, uh, don't go out and just throw one of these all day. Don't go out and throw that all day. Go out there, and if you're wanting to try to feel for what the bass are eating, go with this first, and then later on in the day, go with this. I've done it. I went from a 1.0 one day where I was catching you know, a bunch of 12 inchers. I switched over to a 2.0, which is just a little bit smaller than this guy right here and I actually caught a couple two and a half pounders. It went from 10 inchers on the 1.0 to some you know 15, 16, possibly even 17 inchers on the 2.0 which is this one here's little brother but this one here is a great starter bait. It's a great bait for trying to figure out where the fish are and what the fish are doing and when you once you figure that out you can target the bigger ones with this guy right here. Um, the benefits of going from a small bait to a big bait is obviously uh, you're going to catch a little bit bigger fish. You're not going to get as many bites, but you'll catch just as many fish in the long run that are bigger. Uh, you might catch, you know, you might go out on a good day, 
you'll catch 10, you know, 12 inches on this guy. Then you'll go out on another day and you might catch six, four or five pounders on this guy. And, you know, depending on who you are, you know, four to five pounders are a pretty good sized fish for around here. And I'd definitely rather go out and catch, you know, five or six, four pounders than just 10 little 12 inches. You know, that's not, it's fun, but it's not as fun as catching a big, big fish. Uh, so that there is one of my favorite baits, the, the Strike King crankbaits. Uh, and now we're going to talk about topwater baits, obviously. You know, have to throw topwater baits in there. Uh, so I have two of my favorite topwater baits, and these are my favorite topwater baits for this time of the year uh, through every other day of the year, pretty much. Um, these two baits, now I've never, now I don't believe I ever have talked about the one here in my left hand um, on video. I've caught a lot of fish on it. It's one of my favorite clear water topwater baits ever. Uh, this bait and a drop shot. Uh, there for a while was all I would throw at this one lake that we used to go to. We don't go to it anymore uh, just because the fishing was getting worse as it, as it went on. Uh, but this bait right here and a drop shot were the only two baits I could ever get bit on out there at that lake. And that is the Hedden Zara Puppy. Now obviously it is a very small walking bait. Now this is probably the smallest walking bait I have ever seen and definitely the smallest walking bait I own. Uh, it's about two and a half to three inches long. Here, I'll show it to you guys here next to the 3.5 gunner. That kind of shows you there how long it is. It's about three inches in length. It's not a giant bait. This is stuff that you will want to throw on a spinning rod. Um, any of you guys that don't have bait casters and only have spinning rods, this is the bait for you. Now, I did check on uh, eBay and Tackle Warehouse. I don't believe they're on Tackle Warehouse. I couldn't find them. They might be on there, and I just didn't look for the right thing. Uh, but I did find some on eBay, and I just found some at random tackle places as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Bass Pro Shops popped up there once. Um, they do still sell these, which I did not know. I had two of these. I gave one to my dad. I'm pretty sure he lost it, or he just don't know where it went. Um, and then I have this one here. There was two of them that I got um, at the same time in this one pack, and they were both sexy shad colors like this guy right here. Um, I gave him one of them, and then I kept one. And what I like about this bait is it's silent. There's no sound. There's no sound whatsoever. And I really like that. Um, there's one day, I'll tell you a short bit of a story. This was pre-spawn time. This was a time where I couldn't even get bit on a drop shot, believe it or not. Um, I just couldn't catch fish. Well, I noticed that there was these fish that were splashing out in the deeper water uh, just off this point, probably about maybe 30 to 40 yards off this point. Well, the only thing I had with me was my drop shot rod because that's the only thing I was catching fish on at the time. So I cut off my drop shot. I tied that guy right there on. And I'm thinking I got to cast it literally as far as I possibly can just to even get close to these fish. So I bomb it as hard as I can, cast it way out there. And it lands just a little bit closer to me than the fish. And I'm thinking, well, that kind of sucks. It's not going to reach all the way out there. Uh, but I'm like, okay, well, I've already got it out there. I'm going to go ahead and twitch it back. So I start twitching it. One, two, three, four. Boom. Just like that. And I set the hook and started reeling. And was like, there you go. And there's a fish already. First cast. And I ended up catching about a maybe, I'd say, 13-inch bass on the very first cast with that bait. And I was like, well, there you go. There you go, I guess. Um, was not expecting that, and I ended up, I think, caught, I think I caught four fish that day on that bait, believe it or not, actually, in three different locations, I caught four bass, um, it, it was, that lake is very hard to pattern, it's almost impossible to pattern, um, the only two baits I've ever caught fish on at that lake was a drop shot, and that little Hedden Zara puppy, right there, that's it, it's the only thing I catch fish on, I couldn't even catch fish on a night crawler, that's how bad that lake is, but it's one of the places where I caught my personal best. There's there's very few and far between fish, but usually they're above 15 inches, but sometimes they're not. And uh, But yeah, that guy right there is a great pre-spawn uh, bait because it's a small bait. They don't have to move super fast to get it, and it's a very good profile. I really like this bait. It's a bait that I don't think I've ever talked about, but it's definitely a bait that I love to throw. Uh, the next bait is... A bait that I featured in probably a good close to 100 videos, I'd say. I've, I've got close to 400 videos up here on YouTube. And I'd say 
at least a good 50 to 55, if not more than that, um, videos has this bait in it, and that is the Strike King Sexy Dog. So there's quite a bit of a difference in size between these two as well. I mean, you got the little three inch Zara Puppy versus the big Strike King uh, Sexy Dog. Now you're probably wondering why I did not feature this one here in it. And the reason why I didn't feature that one there in it is I haven't caught any fish on that one, but I have caught fish on this one. You guys can look at the paint job and see that I've caught fish on this one. I've caught fish on those on that uh, walking bait there too. Uh, this bait right here, if I am going for two plus pound fish, I'm going to throw that all day. Um, I don't think I've ever caught a fish under 15 inches on this bait. I, I literally don't think I ever have. Uh, usually, you know, if I'm going fishing and it's a slow day and I'm not catching anything, um, I'll just tie on this bait right here and I'll go fishing. Um, I'll pop up some pictures here of just a few of the fish that I've caught on this bait. Um, I don't think I've ever caught a fish under 15 inches on this bait. I literally don't believe I ever have. Um, I've caught so many fish on this bait that were three plus pounds and you know close to four and a half to five that it's it's crazy it really is this is one of the very few baits in my tackle box that i will always always bring with me even if it's fall and it's cooler temperatures you know mid 60s mid 50s even i'll be bringing this bait no matter what this is the bait that this is one of the few baits in my tackle box that no matter where i'm going in the country don't matter if i'm going to michigan Arkansas, Florida, California, Texas, Missouri, Indiana, or back here in Illinois, this is a bait, no matter where it is, I'll have it with me, because I know this thing catches fish, and in my opinion, probably the best walking bait that I've ever used, I know it's the best I've ever used, but I'd say it's probably up there in the top three for the best in the world, in my opinion, so... Strike King, Sexy Dog. This is the three hook. Uh, this is the medium version now that they got that giant one out. Uh, this is the medium one. It used to be a big one. They have two other sizes besides this one. They have the giant and then they have a smaller one that's just about a, I think it's four inches instead of three like this one. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than that guy there. Uh, but it's all right. It's an all right bait. I haven't really fished it a whole lot because mainly I'm normally throwing this. If I'm going top water fishing, I throw this. And, uh, no, just my opinion, but I definitely think that this is probably up there in the top three of the best walking baits by far. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about swim baits. Uh, swim baits are a really good way to catch fish during the pre-spawn. Um, now I've talked a lot about the 4-inch swimmer, and I've also talked a lot about this 3.5 gunner. Also, uh, I don't know if anybody's made it at this point, but if you're wondering why I have like black tape on my fingers, because Band-Aid uh, brand Band-Aids suck. That's why I have duct tape on my fingers. Uh, but yeah, swim baits are awesome baits. Uh, like I said, I've talked about that 3.5 gunner. I've talked about the 4-inch swim bait. Uh, but today I'm here to talk about these two guys right here. The little 2-inch swim bait and the giant 6-inch swim bait. The reason why we're talking about these is... The whole premise of the video is big versus small. Where do you go when you're fishing? Small baits, like this little guy right here, will catch everything. If it eats minnows, this bait right here will catch that fish, no matter what it is, salt water or fresh water. Uh, this bait is an incredible bait. It's, like I said, the 2-inch Doxler Company Swim Bait. It's an awesome, awesome critter gear is what I like to call it because it catches everything. Um, whether you're going after crappie, perch, bluegill, uh, bluegill hybrids, bass, uh, white bass, redfish, trout, doesn't matter. This thing will catch them. But the, the main thing that I like about throwing this one here in the pre-spawn is you never know what you catch. Um, you know, when I was going trapping back a few years ago, uh, you know, the, I used to say that trapping was a lot like Christmas because you never knew what you was going to get every single day you went out and checked your traps. You have possums, raccoons, coyotes, beavers, muskrat, mink. Doesn't matter. You could have anything in that trap. And when you're throwing something like this guy right here that is just a proven fish catcher, 
you don't know what you're going to catch. You, I mean, if you go on a lake where there's a lot of different species, you can catch different species on every cast. Um, I've been out there and I've caught three to four pound bass on this bait and then turn around three casts later and caught, you know, eight inch bluegill. Not even joking, it's happened. This bait is an awesome bait. When you're trying to go out and catch fish, that bait there is incredible. Now, if you're going out and you're trying to catch the biggest fish in the lake, this guy right here is the bait. Now, you guys can see here I have it line through rigged. I actually have 12 pound um, uh, Berkeley Trilene. Sorry, I had a stupid moment. Forgot what, I, what line this is. Uh, Berkeley Trilene to a size 2 treble hook, I believe it is, if I remember correctly. Um, and then on this, with this setup, I have a Doxler Company Green Pumpkin 6 inch swimmer. Now what I love about this swim bait here, especially the way I have it rigged here, um, I actually have somewhere right about here, you guys can't really see it, um, I don't know, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it through the light, but it's right here, like I can see it with the light on this side, but you guys probably can't see it, it's right in here, uh, I actually put a Nico Rig nail weight, I actually cut it in half and put it in there uh, to give it a little bit more weight so it'll sink faster. But what I love about this thing is when you're fishing around grass and stuff, you take that nail weight out and you throw it just weightless with a treble hook. It sits just under the surface and as you're reeling it, that tail makes a big old V on the surface and it is a great wake bait. Um, I, I think that I'm going to get some pretty mean explosions, whether it's a bass or uh, a grinnel or what it's going to be. I don't really know yet. Uh, but I, I do believe I'm going to get some big explosions reading it like this. This is going to be the way I rig it 99% of the time. Uh, just because I like the way it's set up. I like the big double hook down here. Um, I like the line through setup as well. I've heard a lot about line through swim baits. And I'm pretty excited about rigging it like that. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about worms. This is the last bait. So you guys know I love throwing finesse baits. I love throwing finesse worms. I love fishing in general. Now, that being said, no matter what I'm catching the fish on, I like fishing that bait. This guy right here catches big bass, and it also catches some pretty big bluegill. Um, this is an awesome bait. I love this bait. Uh, this is the 4-inch Ultra Finesse Worm by Doxler Company. This color is called Chicken Liver. It's a great clear water color, uh, just because it's a little bit of a dark purple red. Uh, but it's it's different for them, and they don't really see this type of color very often. It's a great color. Um, I love throwing this on drop shot, on an ultra finesse shaky head, which is just a little crappie jig head, shaky head rigged, um, weightless rig with like a one or two aught hook. Um, no matter what you're doing with it, wacky rigging it, this thing catches fish. If you're going out and you're trying to catch a lot of fish in a short amount of time, this guy right here, just wacky rig with a small crappie panfish jig head, can literally deplete a population of bass very quickly. Um, there was one day, I think I caught eight fish that day, eight or nine fish that day, and I was literally just taking a little crappie jig head, hooking it right through the middle, and then I'd flip it out there about five or six feet, just to where I couldn't really see the bottom that well, and I would let it sink down, hop it up, let it sink down, and then when I hop it up again, I would just see a little silver flash and the bait was gone when I'd set the hook. And that thing caught a lot of fish. But, just like I said with the swim bait, if you're going for big fish, this guy right here. The 8 inch slammer worm. So you're probably wondering, like I said about the, uh, the sexy dog, you're probably wondering why I did not feature this right here. The 12 inch wrangler worm. The monster. Well, that thing hasn't caught anything yet. This thing has caught a lot of fish. Now, I'll, I'll post a couple pictures up here, uh, but this thing has caught a crap ton of fish in the short time that it's been around, and it's an awesome bait. I love the action on this bait. It catches a ton of fish, and if you're going for a bigger fish, you know, if you're in a tournament or something and you have a bunch of smaller fish, you know, two to three pound range, and you want a kicker four and a half to five pound fish, even up up in the six and sevens, tie this guy right here on with a big shaky head or a Texas rig. My favorite way to Texas rig this bait, half ounce pegged bullet weight with a four-aught EWG hook and just dragging it really slow. 
Uh, during the summertime last year, I don't even know how many fish I caught on this worm. I probably don't want to know the answer because it was a lot. Um, I don't even know how many fish, to be honest. I caught probably at least 20 to 25 fish, maybe even 30 fish on this bait. Um, I just caught a crap load of fish. Uh, this bait has caught two, no, it's caught one one-eyed fish, uh, and then one deformed fish. The fish was like messed up. You could tell it was blind in one eye. And then I, it has also caught a one-eyed fish, just no eye on one side. So, you know, even a half-blind bass can find this thing. Uh, and it's a great bait. This color here is called Cricket Brown. It's a dark brown color. It's an awesome natural color for uh, clear water. One of my favorite colors. So, if you want to purchase any of the baits that I showed in this video, email is down in the description. Comment. You can also comment your order and we'll go through the email again. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. Huge announcement coming up pretty soon. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.